We're here for a little Mindful Monday here on River City Live. So we know there's love languages, but did you know that there are apology languages? Uh, we discovered a book by Jennifer Thomas, PG, PhD, and it's called The Five Apology Languages, The Secret to Healthy Relationships. And I thought this was a great topic to talk about just because sometimes just getting to saying sorry is such a big step when it comes to repairing relationships, whether that's at work or at home. So the first one is simply saying, I'm sorry, and acknowledging that regret, just expressing regret. Sometimes that can be tough just to say, my bad, I did that, and own that. Yeah, another way to uh, say you're sorry is, I was wrong. And that's accepting responsibility for the mistake you made, and that definitely goes a long way to bringing a little peace to a situation. Yes, the next one is asking, how can I make it right? I think this is really important because you've taken that ownership, you know, you're gonna be preventing this in the future, but also just saying like, what, what can I do for you to take a step to repair whatever has just happened? Whether it's something simple or whether it's a big blow up. And also you can say, I'll take steps to prevent this from happening again. And if you can, you, there's no guarantee you're not gonna make that mistake again, but if you're putting the energy out there that you're gonna make an effort to not make it happen again, that goes a long way as well. And then I think it's important too, kind of once you've bounced that ball into somebody else's court and said, you know, said your piece saying, can you find it in your heart to forgive me? And this one I thought was interesting because sometimes you can do all the work on your side to say sorry and somebody might not be receptive of that. And the reality is that's their, that's their prerogative. Yeah, so part of the reason that people need to know their apology language is because we all apologize and accept it differently. So how I say I'm sorry might not resonate for you, with you, with Jana, and she might be like, I don't know if that was sincere because the way I apologize is different. So this is a way to really emphasize and form a stronger bond within a relationship. Yeah, did you see one of these that identified with you? Because I know sometimes even like, if we're doing stuff in the show and I mess up something, like we're, we're so quick to acknowledge and just be like, my bad, next time I'll do this. But did any of these identify with you specifically? See, I'm bad because I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> there should be more? No, I'm kidding. But no, it, these did resonate, and it actually is good because I need to be more cognizant when I'm speaking with somebody, how they apologize to me, because I'm like, I don't know, but mm. that is just how we need to open communication. I'm working on that. Yeah, no, I think that's great. I mean, and everybody, again, exerves that acknowledgement, exerves an apology. So thanks for tuning into this Mindful Monday. We'll be back with more River City Live right after this.